My roommate is a psychopath and ate my underwear. <laughs> oh, that's where I put those. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Go ahead, look it up. Thanks so much. I can't tell you how to live your life, but if you did look it up on Urban Dictionary, if you went to my podcast and left a review, that's like the most important thing ever. Anyway, yeah, hi, we're back into Bad Roommates. I've heard the call from the comment section that this should be added into the uh, winter rotation. It's good for cleaning and whatnot, maybe. And while, yes, we, we will inevitably run into some messes, a lot of the messes that I found today are completely psychological, so <laughs> let's get into it and see how it goes. Roommate trashed my room for moving her clean laundry to the top of the dryer so that I could use it. Again, it seems really small in the grand scheme of things. This is part of a bigger issue, okay? It's only one piece of the puzzle. The, the laundry was just the final straw. I'm sorry. I love you so much. And then you guys hug it out. It's gonna be. It's gonna be great. I foresee a happy ending for sure. <laughs> okay. I do not understand for the life of me why, if someone's clothes are in the wash, why people are moving it without speaking to whoever's laundry is in there at the time. Well, you don't have, like, an alarm on your phone, you need somebody to come and inform you that your laundry's done? <laughs> I bet you just do it in a timely manner, because you know other people have to use that machine. Uh, I have clothes in the dryer that don't belong in the dryer. <laughs> I take out my leggings, my underwear, etc. to hang dry, because I have a particular way of doing my laundry. Yeah, and your particular way again, is not very timely, <laughs> which is the whole issue that people are having. Because apparently, OP didn't just have to remove your things from the dryer, they also had to move it from the washer to the dryer. Does that not seem even slightly ludicrous to you? Do you know how long it takes for your laundry to happen on each cycle? It's in your owner's manual. You can look it up, make a note, <laughs> put it on your phone. I'm telling you, go make your life a lot easier for a lot of things. I didn't ask you to move my stuff, <laughs> but I'm just trying to figure out why you took it upon yourself to touch my things. Because they're in the way. <laughs> I don't go around moving your shit if it's in my way. And believe me, your shit is in my way a lot. It's disrespectful, it's rude, and it's inconsiderate. No, occupying the dryer for extended periods of time, not paying any attention to where you're clothes, and then also getting upset at somebody when they take action about it. It's just ridiculous. It's all of those things that you said. Disrespectful, rude, and considerate. Let's see how OP responds. I had to do laundry, <laughs> so I moved all your stuff into the dryer, as y'all had previously done to my things. Now, I don't, I don't think we need to even throw it back in their face. You can leave it at the first half of that first sentence. That's all you get. <laughs> uh, like, as verbose as I am behind a microphone, I'm not very good in text. <laughs> I will literally send half a sentence, be like, yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> but OP does continue. I've had my wet clothes left on top of the dryer before so that someone else could dry their clothes, and I had to rewash them which is unpleasant, so I stuck yours in the dryer without really thinking about it. So, your stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm telling you, just the first half of that first sentence is fine. I moved your stuff into the dryer. I can tell there are a lot of, like, outside grievances, even through these two little text messages. Oh, wait, there's more! <laughs> Uh, so your stuff would be dry by the time mine was ready to go in. Trust me, OP, you don't want to be dry when you go in. What? <laughs> giggity, giggity, go! Uh, it wasn't my intention to mess up your laundry, okay? I didn't do it with malicious intent. I was trying to be helpful, so I'm really sorry and it won't happen again. I was in a rush for work and I really didn't think twice about it, but I understand it's frustrating and annoying, so again, I'm sorry. Now you've apologized twice. She didn't even apologize once. She's gonna take this, she's gonna lord it over your head for the rest of the time that you stay there. And then, I don't know, unspecified amount of time later, today, 
<laughs> roommate says, Did I not just freaking message you about touching my stuff? Why is my stuff on top of the freaking dryer? And then here's a picture of OP's room. I wouldn't say that's completely trash, but I don't know how it looked before. <laughs> my room basically always looks like this. What do you want? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's there's definitely some communication breakdown going on in this house. Like, th that's clear to see. If people really insist on not being in charge of themselves, then yeah, at least communicate about it. Be like, hey, you didn't set that phone timer yet, uh, but your laundry is done, though. It takes 24 minutes. Maybe next time you put it in, you could set a timer on your phone. <laughs> it's real easy to set up. Bring your phone to me, I'll do it for you. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. OP seems like way too contrite about all this. This is the type of roommate that's gonna keep walking over you until you, you flare up with righteous anger at some point in the future. So that's what I hope happens with this post. I hope it fuels you to new and ever more petty heights. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into another one. Oh, we got a bunch of beefy boys today. <laughs> I'm talking about some beefy bongos. OP says she tried to leave me with her two-year-old. Upside down smiley face. I love the upside down smiley face. It's the one I always use the most because everything I say is basically tongue in cheek in some sort of way. <laughs> uh, so she says, oi! I get to use the British leg beard voice because she said oi. <laughs> I love it. I know it's uber last minute. But we just talk about it while gaming tonight. Is there any way I could do same pay a bottle of Alk plus pick and offer a few groceries? I got 90 left in stamps and so not much, but still offered for an overnight at blank tonight. Don't expect an answer tonight if you're up, but yeah. Well, I'll say one thing for her immediately. She is offering things. <laughs> Uh, 90 bucks to watch the kid? I don't know. Eh, that's not too bad. As long as you got some decent toys, two-year-olds are, are pretty cool to hang out with. Just ask them the color and shape of things until they fall asleep. Count to ten a million times. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, th these are things two-year-olds do. It's fine. More than fine, actually. I love it. <laughs> uh, so, roommate says, DAMN! Okay! OP says, hey, I'm just doing my makeup in the bathroom, so feel free to kick me out if you need it. See? That's good communication. You might think that these could be cohesive roommates. Why would they possibly be in a bad roommate's video? Don't worry. It will devolve. <laughs> oh, good. I just use blank if I really need it, and he's not here laughing emojis. Ho, ho, ho. Quick question now. He said he's got me for tonight. But gets off at 11. Could I beg the usual favor of keeping ear out for baby when she falls asleep before he gets back so the other guy and I can head out? I notice we've stopped offering things. <laughs> Opie says, I keep forgetting that, lol. Uh, sorry, I gotta wake up early. She says, so that's... Still a no, even though I'm 99% sure she's never woken up between me leaving and other roommate getting back before, so you could totes go to sleep still. Oh yes, totes, I could, but my brain won't shift into sleep mode knowing that there's a child I need to watch. It's an imposition. I'll be real honest. I'm your roommate, okay? Talk to your mom, your grandma, somebody like that, and your family. They will be willing to watch your progeny for free, as I said, most of the time. Uh, don't overstay your welcome, sort of thing. <laughs> but yeah, you, definitely for a roommate, you've already overstayed your welcome. But whatever, copium, I guess. <laughs> OP says, yeah, that's a no. I already have a hard time saying no, so I'd appreciate you not pushing it. See, still really good communication, even though things are starting to get slightly tense. <laughs> Uh, can I take a, a free action to loosen my collar? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, okay, sorry. I just got a bit tiffed with roommate even today because I just honestly don't understand the issue watching her when she's asleep. Like, if tables were turned, I even told him that I'd be all for watching his kid and not giving any fucks if it was at night because... 
I mean, the one where you sleep. And especially if he gave medicine to ensure them sleeping type stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I do remember my mother giving me NyQuil even though I wasn't sick. Maybe it's fine, but it does seem a little twisted to me. I haven't done that to my kids. We do give antihistamines to the five-year-old, but that's because he legitimately needs it. I think it's the fabric conditioner that we use. Wife, he doesn't think it's the fabric conditioner we use. So we do the antihistamines instead. <laughs> uh, I don't know how old either of these people are, but I would say too young, maybe in age, but definitely mentally too young to be having babies. What are you doing? You don't even truly want this kid, do you? Doesn't seem like it. Give him a chance somewhere else, maybe. So gross. Okay, she continues on, this crazy person. <laughs> so I'm a bit sensitive on the whole thing today. I, I might just do the medicine and trust it. Test, cuz I know she doesn't wake up and you can sleep and shit just cuz I know she's not alone in the house with someone untrustworthy. And as I said, I know she's gonna be asleep through roommate getting back. Yeah, just trust it. What could possibly go wrong? Your child wakes up in the middle of the night, has a panic attack because you're not there. They have no idea where you are. You've left the house completely. They can't find anybody to help them. They run out into the street. They get hit by a bus. Speaking of vehicular manslaughter, did you guys <laughs> did you guys see the, the Moby Vic thing? The name escapes me. It was so bland and forgettable. Oh, it was Broken Toy. The Broken Toy PSA about bullying. We did a little reaction to it. Maybe you should go check it out, if that's your thing. Turns out, crappily made PSA and training videos are becoming my thing. <laughs> uh, I like them more than I should. Anyway, I'm totally rambling. Uh, crazy woman says, I'm sorry! I know I'm still peeved about my talk with roommates, so that was a big old rat, but yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, dude. You're talking about horrible things, abandoning your child, and, and you think it's all just fun and games. Well, at least somebody's in the house. Yeah, somebody who hasn't agreed to participate. OP's already stated no pretty flatly. She's clearly done you favors in the past. Maybe, maybe don't fuck it up forever right now. <laughs> OP says, I'd still be responsible for the sleeping child. Leaving her with someone who didn't agree to watch her is child neglect. You hit the nail on the head right there, OP. <laughs> I don't think we even need to go further. I know you don't understand others' reasons, and your capabilities are different than mine. <laughs> uh, you should go into politics for real. Uh, I've already given you reasons in the past, and I've given you a reason now. It seems I have to make it crystal clear, but just because I live with you doesn't make me your designated babysitter. I didn't have a kid. That was my choice. You had one. That was your choice. <laughs> That's not my problem. It's yours. Not my circus, not my monkeys. That's all I'm saying. You're no receiving the effects of that choice. Now receiving the effects. I will not. It is not my responsibility and I don't even have to give you a reason. No is no. Holy God, this one's so long. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. Okay, let's read her gigantic response. <laughs> I'm adding this after typing all of this, but I'm sorry for the pissed off response explained later too. But if we want things to be okay still after this, leave this conversation where it is. I'm a freaking beast when I'm pissed off. And I deaf don't want to continue saying things I know I'll feel bad for later, when I already hate that this pissed me off as much as it did! You're letting other people control your thoughts and emotions. Your thoughts and emotions are supposed to be the only thing that you do have control over. You are spinning out of control and you don't even realize it. I don't really feel bad for her though. <laughs> I feel bad for the child that was brought in to be raised by this mess. Are you not even trying to pull yourself together? For the kids! For the freaking kids, at the very least. Ugh, killing me. Okay, I know neither of us want living relationships to be rocky for anyone in this household, but trust me when I say a response like that is definitely headed down that road. I do not and have never neglected my child. 
you were just talking about it like the message before this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna drug him and just leave the house anyways. <laughs> and the fact that I trust you with the fact my child would be asleep and you accuse it to be child neglect when she is asleep is something you don't say to a parent. Unless they're literally neglecting their child, like not feeding them or not taking care of them, etc. Yeah, like abandoning them while they sleep. <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty sure it counts as neglect. What sort of mental gymnastics are going on inside your mental mind? I mean, I know there's a lot of space for activities up there, but <laughs> uh, let's try and focus on activities that keep our child alive, first and foremost. And I know for a damn fact that I take care of my child. Yeah, when they're awake, you know. <laughs> you have no kid, yes, but you also have no job and no plans and she would be asleep. Would you have slept with her asleep before? It's just the same. Yeah, except for the fact that I don't agree to it this time. This is not about my life plans that haven't happened yet. This is about your life plans that apparently already have. I am not the one undergoing scrutiny here. <laughs> you are, because you're literally abandoning your child while she sleeps. You're not the one watching her tonight through tomorrow. It's literally maybe an hour or two while she sleeps before roommate gets back. And you know I do best to pay you whatever you deem fit of our agreements, whether you do watch her for overnight or not. I even offer that for tonight, as I do every single time, whether it's for overnight or not. Yes, it was very nice of you to offer. That offer's been declined, and now you're spinning out of control. <laughs> uh, you see how this part's not okay. The first part, it was fine, but we've really let go of the wheel now. You don't have a child, so don't start talking on the effects of that choice like I don't know them and you do or some shit. It's why I ask you guys to watch her and don't just leave her without saying a damn word like a shitty mom would do. I mean, to be fair, that would be, you know, a, a, a worse example of a mother than yourself. But just because it could be worse doesn't make you not a crap mother, right? <laughs> we follow it? I'm sorry for this pissed off response now, but you do not freaking pull the child neglect thing on a mom who tries her freaking best. So I feel I have every right to be peeved at that shite. Like said, neither of us, let alone anyone in this household, wants a rocky living relationship with anyone. But please, freaking trust me when I say I 100% know I'm the only freaking factor in keeping anything smooth socially in this house. So don't start fucking it up with me too. Jesus, this goes really deep. She just goes on forever. <laughs> Woman knows how to talk, that's for sure. Saying all the wrong things, but she still keeps going. I'm a damn good mother, and I'm trying my freaking best to give both you and the roommate the freaking world for having to live with a mother and a child. And if that's not enough, then I guess it's not like I'm not used to it from what both of you know with my freaking relationships. Yeah, your shitty choice in partners is not really my problem. <laughs> oh my god, who the hell cares? Uh, roommate knows and understands that and makes his effort to be thankful. I'm not a shitty mother, expecting you guys to take care of my kid more than while she's freaking asleep to some hours the next morning, maybe till noon, and that's only if I've already made agreement there. Industrial grade copium. <laughs> Good for what ails you. Uh, I'll be leaving tonight once she's fully asleep with the freaking sick meds to ensure she won't freaking wake up till next morning since I've got freaking church tomorrow and you could sleep through it all. Or you could continue to make issue about it and things are going to go down a long, awkward ass freaking road of all of us living together. I think it's good she's going to show. She needs Jesus, you know? <laughs> Uh. And I don't want to have to turn it into something like that. She'll be asleep, fully fed, not alone in the freaking house, not freaking neglected. Again, sorry, but pulling the freaking neglect card set me the frick off. 
and I'm going to need time to cool off from it unless you want the shite to stay awkward like this. I already feel the damn shit just cooking in the kitchen, hearing you move about as I friggin' type this crap. Yeah, Jesus. How long did it take you to type all that? I think OP was very respectful with her no. I think all of this still uh, applies as child neglect. OP has the best answer ever and says, I'm not reading all this. <laughs> you can talk to me in person when you cool down. It is no freaking cooling down for me till that crap is read. Because if I have to freaking say that in person, it's not going to be fun for either of us. I don't think you have the balls to say it in person. I think you're a big talker through text, and that's it. So if you'd like to sit down for a civil conversation, you let me know. Otherwise, stay gone. Crazy Lady continues. I'll say, had you not freaking accused me of being neglectful, this would have gone hella smoother. And I wouldn't have argued a damn thing, but you just pulled a freaking card that you don't freaking pull without good freaking reason. Yes, a reason such as that thing actually happening. OP says, I'm not accusing you of anything. It's literally classified as child neglect. You can look it up. Hell yeah, totally science. Trace amounts, at least. <laughs> you know how person told you about someone being able to report you for leaving her with him while we were walking? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I do have plans, not that it matters. I told you I have to wake up early. I assumed you did know about the effects of having a child. The fact that you kept pushing me to watch her despite me saying no, and especially when you know I have a hard time doing that because of how I was raised, indicated to me that you must be misunderstanding something about this situation. So I made my thoughts very crystal clear. I don't know what you're referring to when you bring up keeping things socially smooth. Roommate and I get along just fine. The issue is that you have the expectation of me watching her at all. Yeah, her being asleep is easier. She would still be my responsibility. I'm sure you see the issue with leaving her alone. You need a legitimate sitter for a reason. You can feel awkward about it. I don't have to. That's a legitimately good response. Do you think she read or understood any of it? Because I don't. <laughs> oh, so now you're saying you're going to freaking report me? That's the road we get to go on? Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't read or understand it at all, see? <laughs> OP says, I didn't say that. I'm gonna continue doing my makeup. I'll read this later. Yeah, you have to get up early. You slept the last freaking time we left too on Halloween while she slept before roommate got back. So what's the freaking deal? It's not Halloween. That was a time I agreed to do it. This is a time I did not agree to do it. Well, why is that so nuanced for you? This is a different occasion! <laughs> I'm going to be doing it again tonight! I ain't giving you the respect of trying to ask and you pull the friggin' neglect shit out! You only friggin' know what you've seen or heard in the group chat, dude! I highly doubt you and roommate privately message as much as he and I do! Jesus Christ, we get it. Yeah, you're the popular girl, okay? Now, please, watch your fucking kid. <laughs> uh, I won't be doing it again, and I def won't be freaking asking you to watch her till this all blows over, if you freaking let it. Seems to me like OP's pretty much over it already. <laughs> uh, it's this crazy roommate that's, that's holding on to it, trying to twist OP's arm into watching your kid. You can't wait to go out at, le at least a couple of hours until roommate comes home, you pass the kid off. It sort of sucks that, you know, other roommate won't help you out, but it seems like she's helped you out before. She's just not willing to do it this time. Take no for an answer and move on with your life, please. OP says, what do you mean you're going to be doing it again? If you're talking about going out while leaving me with your child and being responsible for anything that happens to her, I don't consent to that. You won't be putting me in a corner and making me feel obligated to watch your child. You'll essentially be leaving her alone with no caretaker, and that is neglect. It doesn't matter how offended you are or how much you don't want to hear it. I don't care how upset you are. You don't get to treat people like this just because you want to go out a couple of hours early. It's not a matter of me letting this blow over. It's a matter of you controlling your anger and treating people with basic respect. 
Yeah, this OP. I, I love this. Crazy bitch roommate you're talking to? She's not absorbing any of it. But me, I'm putting all this into the word bank for later. <laughs> You've described the situation exceedingly well. I provided you with a list of online therapists to contact. You'd be doing everyone a favor if you reached out to one. With peace and love. Peace emoji, sparkly heart emoji. And then just another gigantic wall of text. Okay, here we go. And you don't get to accuse someone of neglecting their child and not getting things in return. You have no high horse here. You're just as wrong for that, whether you understand that or not, since you're not a parent. To be fair, you're not much of a parent either. <laughs> uh... You just keep throwing this bag in their face. I got kids. You don't understand. It's like, you don't get special privileges just because you let somebody cream pie you. Where's dad, huh? Maybe he could help you out. Oh, he didn't want to stick around because you're literally an insane person. I feel bad for the kid. Put that kid up for adoption. Give her to somebody who's actually going to put effort into raising her. How about? Pathetic excuse for a mother. You're not watching her at all! You're literally sleeping, and she's freaking sleeping, like you've done literally the last time we did this, and you had no issue with it! Yes, as I explained, that was a different occasion than this one. <laughs> Unless you're lying to me, and have plans to go out tonight, even though you said you had to be up early, which I wouldn't appreciate either, being that not once have I ever lied to you about jack shit! So I wouldn't understand where that would even come from! Oh my god, maybe you could learn to lie. Maybe you could learn to employ just a little bit of subtlety. For everybody's sake. Please! I never consented to you friggin' sleeping while she slept till I realized it was the only way to be sure that you'd be chill with it. So I had to. It's the same boat for you now, and you don't appreciate it. That's what I see happening! I treat you and roommate with the utmost respect, and I don't ask for barely anything in freaking return, giving all I freaking have when I have freaking nothing, and only freaking roommate shows gratitude for it. Oh gosh, well, I'm really sorry you're dealing with the consequences of your own actions. What do you want from me here? Because I'll tell you what I want, to be left alone. Just go, leave me alone, I don't care if it's awkward at home. When I hand you my portion of the rent, I'll say, here. And no other words for you will ever pass from my lips. Can we agree to that? Can we do that mutually? Probably not. Ah, <laughs> uh, our roommate has a whole job! And you get freaking free money for not having a job! I get money from my goddamn dad! That I still spend on you guys to watch her! <laughs> oh, you're trying to take the moral high ground here. Roommate has a job, that's basically like I have a job. Actually, I ask for money from my dad to bribe you guys into watching my child. This whole thing is just fucked. Bad roommate situation, bad childhood situation, okay? I also give you money just to be nice, when I should be saving any cent that I freaking get. I mean, you are obviously not very good at saving your money using it for purposes that will propel your life forward, so maybe you want to work on that before you start pointing the finger at everybody else that they're the cause of your problems, huh? Saving any cent that you get, that means watching your own kid. <laughs> Go out a couple hours later, I don't know what to tell you. She says, It's not freaking neglect! And maybe you'd freaking realize that if you had a kid of your own! I'm not freaking offended by Jack! But you not realizing how much extra I fucking give both of you guys where I can and try to only expect to be able to ask for a night out like once a weekend and if more, I give even more. I want some more. More? Once a weekend? That There's only two days in the weekend. <laughs> you basically did the weekend thing at that point. You're doing this every weekend? Do you go out to the club and listen to the weekend? <laughs> <laughs> there is no peace and love when you freaking try and say someone's neglecting their freaking child when you don't know the first thing about raising a whole human being you freaking created all by your goddamn self for the past two, almost freaking three years. And all you ask is for people to freaking watch her while she's freaking asleep. 
You created her all by yourself? Can we study that? Like, asexual reproduction in humans is really fascinating. I also love how, how it's a huge flex. She's like, two, almost three years? Like, yeah, dude, you got 15 more to go. <laughs> uh, decade and a half, count it down. <laughs> Uh, you can throw that back in my freaking face if she freaking wakes up while I'm gone tonight. But I highly, highly freaking doubt she will. And if she freaking does, my first freaking thought will be that you freaking woke her just to freaking spite me after all this shite. You are an insane person. She probably is rather nice when she's getting what she wants, things are going her way, but the second you tell her no, did you see the shift? If you blinked, you probably missed it. Except for the massive tirades after that point. <laughs> OP again says, I'm not reading that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not reading all that. I'm either glad that happened or, or sorry for you. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know, I have plans tonight, and, uh, can't be here. So you did lie! <sighs> That's absolutely freaking fricked up, dude! Yeah, I guess it is, dude. Sort of like abandoning your child. <laughs> That's pretty messed up too, you know? I'll tell you what the real fun thing would be. Uh, before mom comes home, you just wire the kid up with a bunch of sugar. She's not going to bed anytime soon. OP says, no, I didn't lie about anything, I just made the plans. Nice to freaking know that I'm living with someone like that! Yeah, somebody who's not a doormat, somebody who has their own plans and opinions <laughs> about what they're going to do. And of course, Crazy Woman wants to dig more into the, the lying thing, because that'll make OP the bad guy in this situation. Oh, so you don't have something early in the morning! OP says both can coexist. I didn't say what time. <laughs> uh, nothing you can do to get out of the shot you already said, dude. You're just proving you're a freaking arsehole at this point. Saying I'm freaking neglectful to start stuff and then literally making sure you can't be here. That's a dick move. OP says, okay, well... I'm restricting this convo, and, uh, I hope you feel better soon. No! Not after this freaking shite! Well, then that's all on you, isn't it, dude? You're letting someone else control your thoughts and actions. OP is not. Holy spumoni, there's four parts to this. Second part, 14 pages long. I just read through the first eight, and I'm spent. I don't know if I'll ever get to part 14. I bet it is just more glorious, you know, nitpicky bullcrap that nobody truly cares about. We, we painted a picture here. We get the gist, right? The mom has no problem with drugging and abandoning her kids. OP needs to move out ASAP. Close the book. Next one. <laughs> Ooh, this looks juicy. Roommates asking us to erase our existence from the house because they don't want their grandma knowing that they have roommates. This is a very complicated living situation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I do exist here. I pay money to be here. I'll be as loud as I want. Maybe it's time to have a hard conversation with Grandma. Uh, we'll see how it goes. No subject. Cute photos aside, we're all about to get yelled at on Thursday because Grandma's coming over. Person and I love and respect her, but she 94 years young traditional black woman with a traditional views. So what, you're trying to like hide the lesbian couple that lives next door? This is like a, a threes company type of situation? The grandma's like, like Mr. Furley? <laughs> uh, you guys have a three, threes company? <laughs> Uh, post continues, we don't want to disappoint her, but she won't approve of Blank and his family living off of people, even if it's not what it is. That's how she's gonna see it. How about this? I don't give a fuck what your grandma will think. I hope she dies soon. <laughs> no, probably not the last part. <laughs> if you guys can help us dodge the finger wag of soul-crushing disappointment of the only person who we both truly care about on either side of our families, your cooperation would be so awesome! I mean, this scared of your grandma. <laughs> uh, if you truly wanted to dodge the finger wag, you shouldn't have done the thing that you knew would get you the finger wag. What? Why is this my fault? 
I'll tell you the truth for real, man. I, I don't give a single shit. I just live here, you know? <laughs> uh, if you guys could move you guys clothes and straighten up the living room, if you guys would allow us to organize our pantry, we won't throw anything away. We just want to make it look like we're eating halfway right. Yeah, you put like the Raisin Bran in front and the Cocoa Puffs behind it. <laughs> uh, Grandma's seen it all before. She knows that none of this is really real, right? <laughs> Maybe if you guys don't have to work on Thursday, could you guys plan to be somewhere else? <laughs> what? Uh, no. No, I will stay in my home. Thank you. She would probably be here around 1 to about like 5 at the longest. If Nara, our dog, could be upstairs or put away, if you won't be taking her with you while she's here, I wouldn't want Grandma or Nara hurt on her visit. Wow, that's so thoughtful of you, and, and thank you for asking so nicely and respectfully, but believe it or not, I'm, I'm a person, and I pay to be here, and I don't give a damn if your grandma wags her finger at you. <laughs> uh, that doesn't affect my life whatsoever. Continuing, it would honestly mean a lot, you, if two could do this for us. If you two could do this for us. Why is it all switched around? <laughs> like some dyslexia or something. It would mean so much, but exactly to person. He really doesn't want to disappoint her. She was one of the two women that raised him and given him his good characteristics. Yes, like hiding things from her, the person who raised him. <laughs> uh, seems like they have a really nice relationship going, doesn't it? Just infinitely lying to each other in a giant loop. Total goals. <laughs> she the last one alive, and she doesn't get involved in his life often, so it's more like special occasions. Yeah, could you guys just like get the fuck out of here? Because it's Christmas, right? It's a special occasion. You gotta go. You gotta leave your house from like one to five. Crate your dog up. Stuff a sock in his mouth. I don't want to hear it. Or else my grandma's gonna yell at me. I have to deeply inconvenience your lives so my grandma doesn't yell at me. <laughs> so I hope your grandma, you deserve to be yelled at. How dare you even ask me this? How dare you bring this to me? In our last rental, the one before wifey and I have now, the caretaker bragged about how he, he kicked his last tenants out by telling them they were going to paint and changing the locks or something like that. Couple years down the road, <laughs> things start getting tense between us. He doesn't like that I'm always home, never go anywhere, awake at night most of the time. It's an imposition for him. So he told us, hey, we're going to paint your house. And I said, no, we're good. He's like, no, you need to leave. So we're going to paint your house. I'm like, you wait till we move out. <laughs> He's like, when are you moving out? I'm like, I don't know. When do we find a place, I guess. We endured living around that maniac for like three years. And yes, by the end, we were both openly wishing that the other person didn't exist. So, what I guess I'm saying to this grandma-fearing OP is, um, if you get to take the gloves off, if we're really gonna create this hostile environment, then let's make it really hostile, you know? So there's no mistake about what's going on here. Whatever, I probably rambled too much. Let, let's move into the next one. I think we need to fit a text post in here, so let's try this one. My roommate is a psychopath and ate my underwear. <laughs> Oh, that's where I put those. Uh, you can see why I have to click it. I'll start off with saying that we've lived together for a year now. She started off really good. I thought it was a perfect roommate match. She was quiet, considerate, and wasn't too messy. Then suddenly, she got considerably worse and became loud and annoying and would always follow me around, even to the bathroom. Oh, it's not a normal roommate, is it? It's a child? Child don't need underwear. It's a pet of some sort. I'm sorry, I spoiled the bunch like fuck. <laughs> uh, I thought about trying to find a new roommate there for a bit, or even trying to find an additional roommate to steady things, but decided against it. Eventually, things started getting way better once I figured out how to assert myself and really handle her. Yeah, that's, that's ominous. <laughs> she was finally listening to everything I had to say and backing off. Everything was great, until... One night, about two weeks ago, I decided to leave the house to meet up with friends for dinner. Side note, I can never have people over because of her. I've tried before, but my roommate is kind of scary and most people don't like her. 
Now, mind you, I've been gone for like an hour max. I come home, go into my room, and sure enough, there my roommate is, snacking on some used underwear that she grabbed from my hamper. How used were they? She's just trying to get the peanut butter stains out. <laughs> uh, I was frozen and so shocked I just kicked her out of the room for me to deal with the aftermath and clean up of my used, half-eaten underwear from the floor. I eventually come out of the room and figured I wouldn't get mad and that we both just needed to walk to get our emotions out. Anyway, this hasn't happened since she was a puppy, so I'm feeling pretty discouraged about her training. Anyone have any tips? I'll give you a good tip for a halfway clever post. If you want to bond with any dog, fucking spend time with them. <laughs> the more time you, you spend with them, the less they do things like this. It's amazing how that works. It's like they're a, a sentient animal that only cares for your love and affection and food. But yeah, those things are what they think about all day long. They hear you walking around in the house and they're just out there like, I hope he comes out to, to play with us, to just touch us a little bit. Do it. Scritch your dog. Tell him that they're a good boy, girl, whatever. She did it because she was bored. She did it because she missed you. She did it because little animals are, are basically always running on some sort of instinct. It is pretty sweet, in a way, if you think about it. And you'll get some new underwear. Christmas is coming. Don't you worry about it. Sounds like you needed some new underwear, to be fair. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode, friends. If you did, uh, don't forget to like, comment, sub. I appreciate all those things. Many links in the description, including my Patreon. Thank you uh, to my Patreon patrons, my YouTube channel members. You guys are absolutely beautiful. On the end card, I'm going to link you to Crackhead Craigslist. It is a little more visually intensive, but uh, hopefully just as entertaining. I hope you guys will give it a chance. Aside from that, I mean, always remember, friends, that you're loved, you're worthy, you definitely, definitely deserve it, and I shall see you in the next one. So until then, bye-bye. Go ahead and cut him open. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Promise swears he is just a